Here's a new topic for the channel which I hope sheds light on the reasons for wrestlers to push themselves harder or rest content with what they have. How much are sumo wrestlers paid? For simplicity's sake, let's convert at 100 Japanese yen to the US dollar and give you a rough idea. Here we have three young lads officially graduating the unranked pre-sumo class. Here's a very young Chiyo Otori doing likewise in 2008. Henceforth, these three will be on the rankings chart and entitled to their first sumo handouts, paid to coincide with each tournament six times per year. Divide the Division 6 allowance by two and you get a rough monthly amount of $385. With all core living costs covered by the stable, this is basically pocket money. And a male office worker handing paychecks to his wife, even if she works, might not be left with much more himself. The prize for taking the Division 6 title, by the way, is $1,000. Move up to Division 5 and the wrestler's monthly allowance moves to $440. Pick up the divisional title, as Atami Fuji did in March, and he'll get a further 2000 Division 4 sees monthly pay rise to $550, with a $3,000 prize offered to the champion. And Division 3 brings a sizable jump. Monthly packets of $825 and a champion's reward of 10000 But as you're likely aware, the biggest gap lies between Divisions 3 and 2. Every youngster is urged to taste the latter even for a single tournament, as that's where the monthly salary system kicks in. All Division 2 men, regardless of rank, make $11,000 a month, over four times the Japanese average, and, I understand, receive bonuses in September and January, each equal to a month's pay. They also get a $6,800 annual travel allowance for the three regional tournaments. The Division 2 title is worth $20,000. Pursuit of such rewards inevitably leads to fine bouts in Upper Division 3, but on the flip side, lots of negative sumo in Division 2, as wrestlers seek to self-preserve. Perhaps reform is due. Earn a place in the top division ceremony, and the monthly salary leaps to $14,000. Make Komusubi the first elite Sanyaku rank, and monthly pay is 18000 For Sekiwake, it stays the same, but for Ozeki, once the highest rank in Sumo, it reaches $25,000, plus a 5000 one-off promotion bonus. And for those at the Sumo pinnacle, Yokozuna, it peaks at $30,000, which is 360000 a year, plus a $10,000 one-off promotion bonus. A special prize for outstanding performance, technique, or fighting spirit brings in $20,000, while the coveted Emperor's Cup is worth $100,000, plus myriad sub-prizes. Now in the 1990s, Akebono was shocked to be paying tax on the cash value of all of these mushrooms and butchered cows. I wonder if Sumo and the Taxman have since come to an arrangement. But there's got to be more money than this buried in the Dokyo, or there'd be no famous proverb to that effect. Each of these banners here represents a company-donated cash prize of $300, after deduction of taxes, admin fees and mutual fund contributions. Pick up, say, 40 of these, as Asanoyama did here, and that's $12,000 for starters. Only top division bouts attract such prizes, the biggest ones over 60, the less watched, none at all. The other major boost to sumo income comes through incentive pay, for which every wrestler qualifies, but can only receive at salaried level. Hence, 51-year-old Hanakaze, despite all his wins over 35 years, cannot receive a dime of this as he's never made Division 2. Incentive pay is essentially calculated as follows. $120 for debuting on the chart, plus at least $20 extra for every subsequent winning score, 
paid out in cash when each tournament comes. In the lower divisions, contesting only 7 bouts, a 1 point winning score of 4 and 3 earns a rise of $20. A 3 point winning score of 5 and 2, $60. A 5 point winning score of 6 and 1, $100. And a perfect score of 7 and 0, $140. At salaried level, over 15 bouts, the maximum rise is thus 15 times 20, hence $300. To ensure fast rising wrestlers reap greater rewards than those coasting lower down, second division men get a guaranteed minimum tournament bonus of $1,600. That rises to $2,400 in Division 1, $4,000 for the Orzeki, and 6,000 for the Yokozuna. But remember, these are the minima. They can still be increased by between $20 and $300 for each winning score, by $1,200 for every title, and by $2,000 for every unbeaten tournament. Furthermore, men below Komusubi who topple the Yokozuna for a gold star can add $400 to their tournament bonus, with just that one win. Ichinojo, oft slated for lack of effort, has 8 gold stars, adding over $19,000 to his annual take. Incentive pay thus fuels the controversy over non-competing Yokozuna. In the year before retiring, Kakuryu, with his base pay included, earned around $575,000 for fighting, and quickly losing, just one bout. Meanwhile, Hakuho, the highest earning wrestler ever, collects almost half a million a year in incentive pay alone. And while I seriously question whether all that can be paid out in cash, I know he's incentivized not to retire, particularly when a coach starts out on annual pay of $120,000. There are further appearance bonuses to induce a return to the ring, but not of amounts that would turn his head. Yokozuna received $2,000 for completing a tournament, and $670 merely for showing. The corresponding figures are $1,500 and $500 for Ozeki, and $500 and $170 for Sekiwake and Komusubi, with no such bonuses paid to the ranks below. And there are travel allowances for the three regional tournaments too, the Yokozunas coming to an annual total of $11,500. There are numerous other allowances for belt procurement, hairstyling, work undertaken on tour and at special events, CTC, but let's not get bogged down. For now, you know that the top level wrestlers are not paid on the scale of their baseball, basketball or football counterparts but make a very decent living in a national sport which must reflect the public's dislike of wealth gaps. But a super-rich lifestyle can still be bought for them, by the super-rich patrons who cling to their side, lavish them with gifts and cash-filled envelopes, wine and dine them at the best locations, and link them up with their super-rich friends for future business ventures. Much of professional sumo's money remains off the books. The banknotes tossed around at parties and regional tours, not even the half of it. Which is why we can never really know how much top wrestlers earn. Suffice to say that a man with the business empire of Hakuho, even without Takakesho's TV commercials, must indeed be a multi, multi-millionaire. <laughs>